we will discuss what Krista Vernoff's leaving could mean for Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy, the departure of showrunner Krista Vernoff from both Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 at the conclusion of their respective seasons could result in significant changes for both television programs. Vernoff has worked as both a showrunner and chief writer, and both series have benefited from her leadership throughout the seasons she oversaw. There are many unanswered concerns regarding the futures of both Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 as a result of Vernoff's departure from the Grey's world after more than a decade of intermittent involvement. On February 23, Grey's Anatomy and its spin-off Station 19 will both return from their winter vacation, continuing both series while also signaling the beginning of the end of Vernoff's involvement with them. The dramatic crossover episodes that capped the autumn finales left several characters in dismay due to an enormous fire and an unanticipated accident. The consequences of these events will be covered in the Grey's Anatomy winter premiere, which will be written by Vernoff and directed by Debbie Allen, who also plays Catherine Avery. The season 19 opener was also tackled by the writer-director team, signaling a fresh start for Grey's Anatomy. Here is what Vernoff's departure would entail. The departure of Vernoff signifies the end of an era for Grey's Anatomy. Many have pointed to ends when Grey's Anatomy could have possibly ended, like when Sandra O's Christina left in season 10 or when Patrick Dempsey's Derek was killed off in season 11, as examples of how the later seasons lack clearly defined eras. However, Vernoff's most recent era underwent some significant changes, and it will come to a close with the largest one of them when Meredith, played by Ellen Pompeo, leaves Grey's Anatomy in the winter premiere. The two of them leaving together in season 19 will undoubtedly usher in a new era for Grey's Anatomy while also putting an end to an earlier one. Since season 1, Vernoff has been a member of Grey's Anatomy. If Tomorrow Never Comes, her debut episode from season 1, Episode 6 is probably best known for the patient with the world record tumor, the most recognizable Grey's Anatomy episode of all time, Into You Like a Train, from her season 2, won Vernoff an Emmy nod for outstanding writing for a drama series. She took over as Grey's Anatomy's lead writer and showrunner in season 4, left after season 7, and then came back in season 14. Vernoff, on the other hand, wasn't active in Station 19's early years. Grey's Anatomy had been a part of Stacey McKee's life from the start, and she only departed to establish and run Station 19. When McKee left Station 19 after Season 2, Vernoff took over as showrunner for the spin-off as well. He wrote one of the show's most illustrious episodes, Get Up, Stand Up, from Season 4, which explored the trauma of George Floyd's murder and the subsequent reckoning within the fire department and across the country. This suggests that Grey's Anatomy would be more affected by her departure than its spin-off. Grey's Anatomy has aired more than 400 episodes, making it the longest-running primetime medical drama in history as well as the longest-running scripted series on ABC. Like Kate Walsh's Addison, there have been numerous characters who have appeared, disappeared, and even come back. As a result, Grey's Anatomy may be roughly divided into several periods, which typically begin and conclude with a character passing away or leaving. For instance, the passing of George, played by T.R. Knight, in the season 6 premiere, the plane crash in the season 8 finale, which also marked the end of an era, and the arrival of the new intern class in the season 9 premiere signified the start of a new one. I hope the video is enjoyable, if you find it more interesting. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell button for more videos. Thank you for watching.